Is this even real life right now after a day of snowmobiling sitting in the hot tub? Look at this view, bro. Hello and good morning, everyone. Can I say good morning? No, but you guys, we are excited to have Brandon with us. I am working on dirty, dirty hair today, so side braid it is, but it doesn't really matter because my head's gonna be covered all day. Yes, it is. Covered in snow, covered in fresh pow. Well, and a helmet and a beanie. I hope that my it's head's not covered gear. in fresh pow. <laughs> we are loading up, gathering all the things. Can I show them really quick? We you, may have got a little out of control. You would think that we are actually going on a seven day excursion. We are not. Are we packing for our next cruise? No, actually, I will say this is quite impressive because I have three kids just in this one. That bag. is impressive. Three kids in here. One bag for myself. I mean, you're Mom the only here. one that has two bags. Rye guy in here, but guys, this is clothes and camera equipment, vlogging gear, laptops, chargers, cables, cords. All the things. All the things. Rye guy, I also love that he has started packing all of the technology in his, just like I do. So his yes. is not only clothes, but it's the kids' switches, the main switch to hook up to the TV at the place we're staying at. He he's got all the goodies. He probably doesn't have clean underwear or toothbrush, but we have got the switches. But he's got four pro controllers in there, so we're <laughs> set. Guys, we got a pile, a mountain of coats. Now, this would be much more more stuff if it wasn't for the fact that the place we're going to actually provide you with most of the snow gear. So I don't know what it's called. I keep calling them baklavas. That's a Greek dish. It's not baklavas. <laughs> but whatever the babalavas are. The bibs, the big full snowmobiling gear. They provide you with that. They've got boots, gloves, helmets, all the stuff for the kids. We Adults just have to bring gloves and hats. Gloves and hats. But we've got those full ski face. Yes. And so we were going to bring all of that. But most of the big, big stuff like snow pants, all, all the big stuff like that, they've got that there. Relatively speaking, not that much. But guys, it's time to load this into the car. We are ready to start out on our Adventure. We are meeting Dan and Shell up at the summit. Wait, it's Daniel actually, and Michelle are coming? It's Daniel's summit. He's got to come. We're meeting them up there. We also need two more drivers because we got four kids and it's one kid per adult driver. So they have nobly volunteered to join us on this quest. We need Daniel to show us where to go because it is his summit. So we're hoping he can guide us. Uh, so we're going to load this into the car, meet them up there and get out on those sleds and get out on that powder. And then tonight we're going to be going to our place in Park City. Fun little dinner. Baja Cantina. Baja Cantina. One of our favorites in Park City and it's right near where we're staying. So that way we can go over there, eat, get into the hot tub, relax, unwind. Fall asleep, sleep in. If we don't fall asleep between now and then. <laughs> Just arrived, we are here at Daniel's Summit. We are at the top and we're gonna go get checked in. So we check in, we fill out all the paperwork, we'll get all of our gear, we'll get geared up, then we'll be out there on the sled. But you guys, as we were driving up, as we were approaching, there was no snow, we were getting a little bit worried. Maybe we picked the one day in Utah history that there was no snow up here. They must be flying in their own snow because we got loads of the fluffy white stuff up here. Yeah, it is a lot more. packed. I can hear the snow machines, they're firing them up, they're getting them gassed Ooh. up for us. Let's go get checked in, get our gear on and get out there. Is it time to get in the hot tub yet? Crew almost brought his motocross helmet, then we're like, no, you probably should wear like a snowmobile specific one. He has like a fly racing helmet just like this. <laughs> also what I love that's fly racing gear on these things. So we got these big, thick, heavy coats. We got this is what I'm excited about. The full coveralls keeping you nice and warm while you're out there. All fly racing as well, that's kind of cool. Getting all the sizes right. We got all the paperwork filled out. Gotta grab boots, helmets, coats, and these things. Walking us out to our sleds. Here's four we're gonna have for the day today. Oh, these look nice, dude. I like these. Okay. Yeah, these four up here. Okay, here we go. We've got completely geared up. It took much longer I than look you awesome would think. Right there now. are so many kits, so many helmets, gloves, pants, but we're fully ready, guys. We've got helmets, we got everything we need. These four sleds are ours for the day, you guys. We are going out for hours and hours and hours. They just showed us this awesome trail. We're trying to remember where you turn left, where you turn right to get the best left, views. Right, left. We're not to go off the side of a mountain. Hazy's ready to rock. Hazy, are you ready to do this? Yeah! Let's freaking do this, baby. I'm gonna go take the vlog camera away, switch into GoPro, guys, taking you along with us for the ride. Here we go. We're a little ways into the trail right now. We are having the time of our lives. Like we're not going fast, Woo! we're getting passed by everybody, but would you say it's been fun? It's been so much fun. I'm going a little slow, but, but she's got hazy and that's her excuse. It's hazy who wants to go slower. Yeah, hazy. Hazy's like, uh, can I we go now? 
<laughs> Hazy's literally just like, faster, mom, faster. She's you like, guys, quiet. That is scary. <laughs> you do ride kind of close to some of these edges where you feel like you could go right off the edge if you weren't paying attention. I know Rye Guy's been driving for Daniel a little bit so we can get some dope footage. He's actually <laughs> gonna switch me up. Rye Guy's gonna drive me around so I can get some of that sick footage. He's gonna take Brexy for a little bit. But all in all, it's just gorgeous scenery oh out here. Gosh, so Perfect great. weather. Yeah. We're totally warm and toasty. Yeah. We got plenty of snow. Oh, tons. I don't think it could have worked out to have been a more perfect day. Boys, are you guys having a good time out here? Yeah. Has this been freaking awesome? Brex has been riding with me full boss mode, never once asking me to slow down. Says he's actually a little bit warm. Right guy, you've been driving, dude, in your fly racing gear. Yeah. Crew, bro, does it feel good to get out here back oh, on a motorized yeah. vehicle? You got the throttle at your hands, bro. It's this so is fun. Crew's life right here. Right guy's gonna drive me around right now because I want to get some sick slow-mo footy of pow just flying up around us. So right guy, you're gonna drive. Ready to get back at it? in the wild, let alone two. Stop out. High five. <laughs> yeah, we almost missed. It's beautiful, the scenery is amazing. We got double unicorn mounts going here. We're gonna get some epic footage. You guys ready to go? We've gone about, I don't know, 100 yards probably, made 10 stops. That's how we bing them, baby. Sandwiches out. <laughs> I, it's nice though when you go with somebody else who appreciates the video aspect, because Daniel will stop to adjust the camera or get a different mount out, and I'm like, thank goodness not everybody's just waiting on me. Both have about four cameras. gonna come here we're at 18 so we're somewhere in here at 16 we turn right we're gonna go out there's like this awesome view out here and then I guess we'll come back against it and this is where it opens up and that'll be a lot of fun in the wide open okay, okay? Taking a quick break in probably the coldest, windiest place of the entire trail. But there's this incredibly scenic, epic view out there where we're gonna stop and take a family picture. Dan and Shell always coming in through clutch with these thick camera gear. They've got all the goodies. One of the main reasons we bring them is to get the best photography. We're gonna go out there, cliffside, with the insane view, take a picture. I just found out, guys, I don't think I've been recording anything on this 360. We're gonna go back and find out because uh, I think because of the extreme cold, it might have been a brick with a flashing red light this whole time. So we may not have any of that cool footage. We'll see when we get back. And now that I've finally got the camera rolling. We need to somehow get mom to fall as much as she did on the way up there. This is so hard. This is not packed down like the trail part is. So mom kept falling and then Hazy would fall right on her. You can see it sinks pretty deep. First it's open this picture, you guys. Look at this. These guys tripled up right here. This is incredible. Woo! Yeah. Seems to be the place for the epic picture. Kids walking out that way to line up for our shots. We got our photographer extraordinaire, Michelle, yeah. right here. Take our picture. She brought all the good gear. She brought an entirely separate bag just to get epic pictures for us. We're gonna come out here, get this beautiful background, and then start the trek back to the lodge. I think we're about at the halfway point, or at least the turnaround point. I think we're hopefully more than halfway. <laughs> the pick gorgeous pick always got to give so much credit and gratitude for dan and shells bringing their gear out here daniel getting that sick footage on the camera and michelle bringing the dope photography camera and of course making the pictures just look absolutely perfect editing them up for our instagram so make sure you guys are checking those out at this is how we bing them we try to if possible in kind take a picture for them as well especially at spots like this so mindy trying her hand at it over here and then however bad she messes it up michelle will be able to fix it hey, whatever but. some of her favorite pictures of her video i've taken some of the favorite pictures that she has, Mindy apparently took. Kids are getting back on the sleds. One by one, kids are loading up. I think they're ready to start the trek back. This has to be, at the summit, I'm assuming, the windiest, coldest point on the entire trail. We've stopped a lot, but not for very long to like get off, take off helmets and gloves and stuff. But here, because we're taking the picture, we're realizing just how absolutely cold it is, which is a testament to how great this gear is. The hands, totally warm. The hand warmers on the handlebars, the coat and pants that they gave us and provided, so warm. Boots, so warm. Not one part of me is cold, you guys. So it feels incredible to be this high, this cold, the wind blowing. We are just having a great time up here. Soaking in this view for one last moment and then we're heading down, taking the trail, the trek back to the lodge. And then the fun isn't over yet. Going to dinner and getting in that hot tub, baby. Sounds pretty good right about now. Turns out I was the only one that 
I had working hand warmers on the handles and I'm just talking on and on about how they keep your hands so toasty. And I see everybody else shaking their hands, <laughs> trying to warm them up. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Uh, only mine works. So. But now I feel bad I stole it. No, I'd switch and let Michelle take it because she literally couldn't feel her fingers. How are you doing? He asked me to hold them and I can't guarantee he's gonna get them back. This is Rye Guy's fast start in three, two, one, send it. Push your thumb on that and it'll start to go, okay? down though as we wait for mom and hazy the sun's definitely going down it's getting quite a bit colder so i think we're just trying to race back to the lodge right now but not before daniel and i take these sleds out and really see what they can do Just got off our sleds, just turned in all our gear, just wrapping up our time out here at Daniel Summit. It was insane. It's so fun. I gotta say, this rye guy, he cannot go fast enough. He can't be contained no matter how fast he went. We were like, slow down, slow down, slow down. Like just a little bit faster, a little bit faster. He had a ton of fun driving it. Crew got to drive it. I actually let Brexy drive it from that clear opening that we finished off in all the way back to the lodge. Yeah. Brexy got to drive it. He was good. Daniel and I went out and tore it up for a little bit out on that powder. Because we were saying goodbye to Daniel Summit Lodge here. This has been a blast. We actually were hoping that we could stay here. We were trying to get a room here. We thought it'd be fun to stay here, wake up and go snowmobiling. They're completely booked out for the weekend so we got a fun place in park city so we decided to do daytime snowmobiling then go see the night in park city so we're headed there now we're gonna grab a bite to eat check into our place warm up in a hot tub call it a day it's been a good one though this has been so fun <laughs> We just arrived, just parked. We had a bit of a time finding it because it's an awesome, magical snowstorm out there right oh now. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. It's like Park City when it's snowing. Hard to beat, you guys. Incredible. So, we're jumping on the elevator. It's like, we've never been to this place before, so oh, we're not really familiar with this it. This is awesome. But Raga and I had to scout it out because we had to go get parking passes. It's Sneakers. pretty posh, pretty dope. We're pretty excited about it. So you get off the elevator, turn right. That'll be our place. Woo! Let's go check it out. Check out room number one. Look at those high ceilings, dude. That ceiling is dope. Hazy, that's a candy bag. That's Rexy, I'm gonna follow you. Oh. <laughs> Hazy, we need the kitchen and we need the hot tub immediately. Like, how nice is this? This is so dope. This is awesome. This is so perfect. I don't know. It, like, you think it's gonna be like a condo, which is what it's called. Hot tub is on tonight, boys. Let's go get into our swimsuit. Let's go! Mindy, look at these ceilings. These are so tall. Back this way, my lady. Wow, no. we need that closet. Oh, and look at this. The bath is over there. We're not probably gonna the jacuzzi. The jacuzzi! <laughs> <laughs> loving it so far, guys, loving it. All of a sudden, I thought I'd seen everything. There's an entirely secondary hallway off to the side that I hadn't seen. Oh yeah, for sure, this is you guys. This is Dan and Shell right here, for sure. I also got like two separate masters because they've got their own- Nice and big. And I love it whenever they have king bathroom. size beds. But two kings, so Dan and Shell get the king, we get the king. I think that works out great for our group. Then who we have in here? Is this Brex and Hazy in here? Look at this room, you guys, how fun. Wait, oh, so you've got a double wide. You guys could no, do a sleepover, no, 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 no. or you could get your own. So he goes right here, I go right here. If I get bedrooms, I come over here and sleep with him. Oh my gosh, I freaking love that plan. Infinity and then some. Oh my gosh, you guys. Coming back down here towards the front door. What is that? Oh, washer and dryer. Hey, mom, you can do laundry. We don't really have much to do. One night here. Boys, is this your guys' pad in here? What do you oh, think? Yeah. How do you feel? Do you like it? Yeah, got a fan. Uh, you don't need a fan. It's That's freezing cold, you. dude. <laughs> oh, wait. And you've got this sick walk-off bathroom. Did you guys see this? You guys got your own separate little bathroom right there. I love the high ceilings. Very, very cool. Okay, guys. Hey, unpack as much as you'd like. Throw some stuff in 
drawers. We're only here for literally tonight. We leave tomorrow morning. But yeah, set up switch. Whatever we want to do, let's get in our swimming suits though and get in that freaking hot tub. Ooh. Could we do first one in, bro? Bro, is this even real life right now? After a day of snowmobiling, sitting in the hot tub. Look at this view, bro. Look at all those lights from Park City Ooh. over there. This view is spectacular. Oh, it's so cold. I gotta get in here. I gotta bring. Oh that. my heck. Super hot. You got your treat, right, guys? So Good. hot, but it feels so nice. <laughs> Brandy. Yes, let me get your garbage for you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, dude. Yes, 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 yes. Right at your service, sir. Right at your service. It's amazing. It's amazing. Like it's so much better than we thought. We got it on a steal of a deal, you guys, because they had one night open in the middle of a weekend. So like Thursday Probably was booked. Just wanted to get it rented Saturday, out. Sunday was booked, and they're just like, we just need to get this night gone. So we got a steal of a deal on this place. It is absolutely incredible. Perfect. It's kind of Cool. Beyond our needs for this evening. So we're gonna be hanging out here tonight Probably jump in the hot tub eat some dessert. We brought some chocolate back with us But then in the so morning I'm craving pizza. What do you think mom in the morning? We do some breakfast We do wake up and do a fun breakfast very excited to stay the night here tonight. We've had a long day We're very tired. I know so we're gonna be jumping in the hot tub I think that's the next order of business We got this fun kitchen for breakfast in the morning much more to come here from this house tomorrow morning We waking up here doing a little bit of shopping in Park City So guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this day with us today. Yes. We've enjoyed hanging out with you Make sure you come back. We love you so much and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night everybody Bye. <laughs>